So guys, we're all together again, and uh, one thing I've noticed about the show is that you guys seem like real friends. There was genuine connection. Acting. <laughs> Acting is the... So here we are 20 years later, but what were your first impressions like of each other? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? I hated Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Well, actually, one of the first impressions we had was at uh, one of the callback uh, auditions where I think for the first time, not all of us were in the room together, but there was maybe three or four or five of us in the room together. And I remember very distinctly Jamie standing up and saying, well, I guess we should introduce ourselves to each other. I guess we should meet each other. And, you know, when you're in an audition room, everybody's usually pretty quiet. Everybody's trying to, a little bit nervous, trying to think about their lines, not screw up. Um, except for Jamie, who seems to uh, make himself comfortable wherever he is. Like now, for example. Um, we, always, no, we, we always called you the glue. I was the glue, all right. No, you know what? It's interesting because, at, at, like Nick said, most of us were at that callback. Um, and we kind of already had chemistry right there, right? We already, some of us vaguely knew each other. We'd run into each other at some auditions. Um, Jessica and I were at camp together. I was her counselor. <laughs> so we kind of we kind of all hit it off very very quickly, and then we did sort of a chemistry read, right? Where I think Mick and Ross switched playing parts of uh, Victor and Chris, right? And and and, and we sort of uh, you know tried a few different scenes, and then we took a picture that day, which uh, I have somewhere at home. And uh, John McDonald, who was uh, the executive producer from Fox, who was in the room, said, well, you know, it, you, you guys are it, and we'll figure out the, who gets what later. And, and we, that was the beginning of the clicking, and, and it just got better from there. We became very good friends very fast. actors were from the two creators of Student Bodies. You guys want to hear that? Yeah. Alright, you guys, come on up. Come on up. Give a round of applause louder! Yeah, Mike Greenhofer and Judy Spencer, everyone. So what were these uh, wacky cats like in the cold, rainy night of 1996 slash 7? <laughs> It started with um, Mick read for every role. <laughs> right. Well, we looked at her flash for a minute, but, it, but he he literally read for every role. He's the one person I believe who read for every role. Okay. Jamie was just. He's either going to be Cody. He could be. No, he's either going to be Cody or he's not going to be. <laughs> Dr. Bullock. <laughs> uh, um, so Ross was just, he just came in and really felt like Chris to me from the beginning, which is weird because he was playing this really goofy guy, but he's kind of a little bit of a serious guy um, <laughs> on camera. Um, and uh, the girls are very special to me because I felt like as the only woman on the creative team, I kind of had to look out for my girls. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but they were all amazing. And she did. Thank you. I love you guys. And they were just great. Nicole came in. She was sweet and so angelic. We all had our tongues like hanging out of our mouths. And Katie was also gorgeous and funny. And, and Victoria, you put up with some really, really bad wardrobe choices. I'm so, <laughs> so, so, so sorry. Yeah. You know, the, the pink and furry vest, I owe you. Anyway, and, and she did it all with good grace. But, and Jessica came in and literally had two lines in the pilot. And she said, see ya, Shepherd. And we all fell on the floor. <laughs> we just died and just fell in love with all of these guys. If I left anybody out that I didn't mention, they all were wonderful. No, uh, which book? We looked at, we looked at, I think, 22 different people from Romania. <laughs> right? We, we literally looked at 22 different people trying to find someone who could be cool, fall in love with, over six feet. You know, there were a lot of <laughs> there were a lot of things, and, and and he was literally, I think, the last we fought was like finally, <laughs> finally. Oh my God, he'd actually act. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> you can't, but, but the fact that he could was a true bone. And so that's sort of how it all came about. And I think over three days of um, at least the first time in Montreal, and then a couple times in Toronto. And then, but um, we ended up taking that picture and we all went back and looked at it, the picture that Jamie talked about, and we left it for many, many moons. Uh, also, in that, someone who's not here, Aaron Sims, it was much of all. She, Morgan, did a wonderful. She also was one of the sort of like Jamie was like, well, she's either going to be this one role or she's not going to. But um, she was also in that picture. And um, it was at that point in time, I think we lived with it for about three days. And just looking at the picture eventually told us who everyone was. Excellent. All right.